club was formed in uh, 1932 and um, we've got a membership. We've been running, there's been no break in the uh, service of the club to the community. And our current uh, stand in the moment is approximately 30 members. We play from the uh, middle of April until the first week in uh, September. Uh, because it's uh, quite expensive to get contractors in to do the complete job uh, from start to finish, uh, we've got a, a, a dedicated team of six club members who give up their time and come down early every morning and uh, do certain things to the green, uh, help to keep it all clean and tidy. The contractor cuts it uh, on, a, on a Monday and uh, a Friday and our green team, they cut it on a Wednesday and they do an excellent job. At the end of the day, we've, we've, got, to, we've got to raise funds and uh, we uh, applied and was granted a license. Uh, we put our own restrictions on. We keep it everything all in, inside uh, to comply with the licensing, licensing regulations. And uh, it's a source of income to help to fund the club. Because at the end of the day, our feeling was that we couldn't let this facility go after all these years because it is part of the community. And I hope that the community will look on it that we are trustees of their local bowling green. There's a sign on a big sign facing onto uh, onto Endless Way there, inviting them to come any Monday night, weather permitting, and uh, they can come and have a taster session. We will provide the coaching, provide uh, the uh, equipment to play the game, and I'm sure if they took the opportunity, they would thoroughly enjoy it of all ages. It's funny how uh, a career develops. Uh, Kevin Wall. Uh, lived just across the other side of the park and he used to come and watch us play on match days and match nights and he was only 13, 14 and he said sit on the bank and watch us to play. We persuaded him to come and try the game and he turned out uh, to uh, become an international indoor and outdoor and he has played in Australia, he's played in Commonwealth Games and uh, he's up in representing Wales in South Africa and uh, it's only now in the last two years that uh, he, he uh, decided to retire from international bowls. The best thing of bowling, uh, I think it's the sheer frustration of trying to get that ball near that little white ball which we call the jack. Some used to call it the kitty but uh, that is the challenge, all winds and weathers.